Welcome back to the channel guys. This is your boy Ali. Thank you for all the people who have subscribed to my channel and have been watching all my videos. Uh, thank you so much. That helps me tremendously. So I have some exciting news and I would like to share that with you guys. I have just recently, about three days ago, passed my Google Cloud Architecture exam. Uh, for the people that are interested in this type of certification, I will break down overall syllabus for it, what topics are covered, and what kind of scenario-based questions are included in this type of exam. So this is an architecture level exam, and it kind of aligns with what I have been already doing, but this is gonna focus more on the Google services that the cloud platform offers. So it's been very interesting. It was a really, really challenging ex exam. I've been studying for it for a couple of months now and putting in at least two to three hours a day. It's been taking up a lot of my time away from family to be able to study for this. But overall, it's been really rewarding because I was able to put that up on my resume and that will open up a lot of doors for you and more importantly if you already have experience. My background is full network engineering um, and then I got into collaboration and I've been doing that for quite a long time, unified communication space and doing a lot of engineering deployment work and even did some escalation support stuff in a NOC before and now for past five years I've been doing a lot of solution development but before we waste any further time how about we get into it all right guys welcome back so the first thing you're gonna do is go to google.com and type in Google certifications after you get there you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click on Google cloud certifications So over here on the left side, you're gonna see, it's gonna say Google Cloud Certification, and then you're gonna have Certification Paths, Certification Prep Webinars, Earn a Badge Resources. So we're gonna look at the Certification Paths over here. So there's two types of uh, certifications that Google offers um, is uh, associate cert level certification and then professional level certification. So the associate level certification, if you want to get into cloud, is going to be the cloud engineer level. Now, if you are brand new to cloud and you have not worked in the cloud space before at your current job or wherever, um, I suggest starting with the associate level because as you could tell over here, it says it's recommended experience is six plus months building on Google Cloud, which is the Google Cloud platform. And then there is the professional certification, which is recommended for people with three years or more experience in the industry, including one year of Google Cloud and that, that goes for, for myself. So I have been working in cloud for about five years, four to five years to be exact, but not on Google Cloud. I have been working on Google Cloud for about a year, year and a half. So this is exactly where I fall, right? So the certification that I went for is the cloud architect. Now that's the space that I work in and my future projections for my career are going to be in that space as well. And if you are looking into engineering level, um, cloud engineer, developer, or any sort of, uh, you wanna be on the network side or DevOps or security or machine learning or you know any anywhere else, you follow that path. So let's say if you wanna become a cloud DevOps engineer, right, you're gonna, see what they have to offer in the cloud DevOps engineer section. So the purpose of this video was to show you guys the cloud architect, 
uh, certification, the one that I passed. So that's where what we're going to click on. So once you go into that, it's going to take us to Professional Cloud Architect. That's the examination name of the exam for a Google Cloud Platform. Um, then you got exam overview. So Professional Cloud Architect enables organizations to leverage Google Cloud technologies with a thorough understanding of cloud architecture and Google, Google Cloud Platform. This individual can design, develop, and manage robust, secure, scalable, high available, and dynamic solutions to drive business objectives. Now, the Google Cloud Certified Professional Architect exam assesses your ability to design and plan a cloud solution architecture. Now, on the architecture level, if you've if you've been a solution architect before and you've and you've designed and planned around other solutions, you kind of already know what you're in for here, except that you will be in the cloud space and specifically you're going to be working on Google Cloud Platform. So you're going to be able to design and plan and solution the architecture for Google, Google Cloud Platform. It's going gonna, it's gonna to show you how to manage and provision the cloud solution infrastructure. So not only you could design and plan, you also know how to manage and provision. So let's say you want to create an instance and do some you know, virtual private networking and you have to peer between on-prem and on cloud, what will you do? Create VPN clouds, VPN tunnels, and assign IP addresses and expose it to the public and be able to SSH to it, et cetera, right? So, so that's the stuff that you will also learn uh, once you go for this um, certification. Now, the third thing over here says design for security and compliance, without a doubt. So Google's number one thing is that once you go for their certification, the number one thing is that the security is built in from default in all of their platforms. So it's not a question of, oh, do we enable security or not? I mean, it's just by default enabled on on the virtual private networks and 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 everything else so so there's different standards and and it kind of you know goes a little deeper into that for your design work now analyze and optimize technical and business processes this is interesting because it helps you analyze and ask the right questions when you're actually doing a discovery for a client and it helps you think about what kind of optimization that you could provide to pretty much better the business processes, right? I mean, at the end of the day, you want your network to be efficient, fast, resilient. And with all of that, you want to be able to save money for the client, right? The end goal is to, to have higher number of projections by the end of the quarter and you know that you know that's what the companies are built for and and the end goal is that so even in technology you know you have to be able to not only deploy a solution but you have to make sure that it meets all their requirements but it also saves the company money right so google offers that it's definitely a lot cheaper if you go the google platform route than Amazon or Microsoft Azure from my experience because with Amazon instances, once you're running, uh, you're running pretty much. And that's that's the thing with that, right? I mean, um, with, with Google, it's different because if you're building an instance, you're paying for what you're storing there type of thing. You're paying for storage. So Let's say if you build an instance and you connect, you do the VPC pairing and stuff, and then you attach the storage uh, the devices to the the VPC environment. So all the all the routing and all the processing that's happening behind it, that's what you're getting charged for, but not a, not the actual instance itself. And then manage implementations of cloud architecture. So obviously, once you get to this level and you know all of this, you're already managing implementation as well, because you, 
you're at a point where you know how to provision, you know how to design, you know how to plan for it. So <clears throat> it's only natural that you're you're managing implementations as well when you're actually integrating the solution or you're building a solution, you're actually managing it. And <clears throat> ensure solution and operations reliability. So this is where Google tells you their standard and how they they keep their cloud environment, you know, to make sure it's uh, at the most reliable state that it, it could be on. And and Google Cloud, I think 80% of the world traffic goes to the Google Cloud, right? And they have a very large network. They have data centers all over the world. And I'm not saying Amazon doesn't. Amazon has probably more data centers right now. So, so without a doubt, I think that's one something to think about. But yeah, um, so let's go to exam guide. So when I was actually sitting for the certification exam, um, very interesting, a lot of um, case studies and different types of case studies and a lot of scenario-based questions that you would normally have to think about and 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 you know do a lot of thought process around when you're actually in front of the client or you're gathering business requirements etc so in in the exam itself itself you have three different case studies and pretty much 70% of the questions are around the case studies now you could register for it it's free of cost i believe um it was for me um but definitely register for it so that way you kind of break down into this and kind of see exactly how to prepare for it right so i like what they've done here there you know once you register you have actually have access to you know like a lot of stuff and but but before you even do that, you could just scroll down here and then kind of see how the topics break down. Designing a solution infrastructure that meets business requirements. And that's what I was talking about earlier. So these are the things that they, you know, kind of kind of question you on. And that's where you need experience, right? Otherwise, you will not be able to understand those questions and so on and so forth. So you could keep scrolling down and kind of kind of look into that and and see, you know, designing a solution infrastructure that means technical requirements and, you know, how you're building resiliency and f doing failover and scalability. Does that meet the growth requirements? Um, designing network storage and compute resources considerations include, you know, all these different things that they're looking for you to know. Um, information on and 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 that's the thing right that's what i like about this exam because it's focused on solution architecture or architects that build solution for clients on the google platform and and that's very interesting because this is exactly exactly what you will be doing in the real life creating migration plans that's exactly like the roadmaps right so when you're doing roadmaps for the clients that's exactly you have to know the timelines you you have to know you know, integrating existing solution. A lot of applications might not work. So there's there's a lot of uh, discrepancy there and you kind of have to understand that. Migrating systems and data to support the solution. So that's again, like a lot of legacy network or uh, legacy systems do not understand the future state architecture and you have to come around that. Maybe provide another solution to, to cover that space and you know, migrate everything off from the legacy, um, whatever the application is. Network planning, test proof of concept, dependency management planning, so on, for, so on, so forth, right? So then you're gonna keep going down managing provision solution infrastructure, and it pretty much breaks, goes de in detail of the types of services Google offers for their cloud platform. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's very interesting. I think you guys could, definitely check this website out. If you have any questions, you know, I would be happy to answer.
drop in the comment section below. Let me know um, what your goals are and what you're trying to do, what kind of certifications you've been trying to apply for or register for. So definitely would be interested to hear uh, and maybe get some more feedback on, on the video itself. Hit the like button. And again, if you're new to the channel, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one.